I'm going to retract your chin just a little bit for me. Very good. Good, relax. Oh, <laughs> okay. You hear that? Okay. And a little bit stiffer going that way, right? Would you agree? Yeah. Hello everybody, it's student Dr. Sebastian here with Maddie. Hello. One of our <laughs> lovely CAs. We are going to show you how we run through our sort of palpation, joint palpation flow. And then I'm going to adjust Maddie based off what I find. Okay, so this is stuff that I picked up during my time at Logan University attending MPI club meetings. If you're a student at Logan, if you're a student at any chiropractic college and you have the MPI club on campus, I cannot recommend it enough. Go. Just go. Get your hands on people. The more times you put your hands on somebody, the better you're going to be. All right, Manny, come here. Take a seat right there. So the seated scan, as the name implies, you do it seated. So Maddie, go ahead and scoot forward so your feet are against the ground. I'm going to be doing some pressing and I don't want to push her off of the table. So start by assessing that SI joint. So you can either take your palm or your fist and you push until you get to about end range and then from there you joint place. So you just kind of press just a little bit. And the more you do this, the more data you'll be able to get out of your hands and you'll be able to pick up restrictions a little bit easier. When you first start doing it, you don't really know what you're feeling. I didn't know what I was feeling and that's okay. You just gotta keep practicing. So we'll go to the other side as well and then I'll have Maddie bend away challenge it a little bit more do the same thing on the other side same deal assessed the SI joints now I'm going to assess the lumbar spine so we start at the bottom work away to the top gap come over on this side you might be able to get a little better sure. shot of what I'm doing so I'll instruct Maddie to sit up straight and tall but be as relaxed as she can and again I can use my fist and push it to end range and then joint play from there and I'll just work my way up the entire spine doing that so Maddie, she moves really well, especially through the lumbar spine. Thoracic spine is a little bit locked up. And then as I get up higher and higher, it gets a little bit more to get information out of those joints. So I have to switch up my technique a little bit. So sitting right there, this is one of my favorite ways to assess the mid-back. Fingers are locked behind your neck, elbows come forward, and then just lean into me here. Be as relaxed as you can. I'm supporting Maddie with my arms. She's totally relaxed. I'm going to use this palm to kind of guide her vertebrae forward as I allow her elbows to come up and we get some extension through the T-spine. I can feel through this. She's a little bit locked up. How does that feel to you, Maddie, as I kind of press right here? It feels a little painful and yeah. sore. So she's a little bit stiffer there. And you can kind of bring up to the top as well and do the same deal. And this is just supporting my findings of a joint restriction in the mid-T-spine area. So we're working our way up. Assess the lumbar assess the mid back now we're going to get involved with her lower cervical spine come over on this side gab i think we're going to be able to see a little bit better so if you guys watched the video of me adjusting dr nick i really emphasized looking at the junctional areas so cervical thoracic junction where your thoracic spine ends and your cervical spine starts so c7 and t1 one of those really common spots to get a restriction so we got to be good at palpating it so one method, we'll find C7. I'm palpating it on the left side. I'm going to bend her head over. And again, I'm going to get to that end range and then joint play and see how it feels at the end. Does it feel like, I'll use the MPI language, does it feel like a block of cheese or a block of wood? Cheese is how it should feel. It should have a little bit of a give. If it feels like wood, you have a, a kind of stiff end range, then you know that it's a little bit restricted. Am I cheesy? You're a little blocky on that side. <laughs> block of wood. I'm going to assess the other side, of course. This side moves a little bit better. For patients that you really want to get into, a way that you can further assess the CT junction, bring the arm up, and you just relax and Maddie, and this allows that CT to drop a little bit more underneath your finger. You can also get the first rib in this position, so CT junction is more posterior. If you move yourself a little bit more lateral and you come off, you feel that kind of bony prominence right underneath the trap. That's going to be the first rib, and we can assess it that way as well. Almost done. So let's recap what we found so far. Restriction in the mid-back, restriction in the TL junction, a little bit of restriction in the CT junction on her left, and now we're going to assess the upper cervical spine. So for this, 
I'm gonna take my index finger, put it on her mastoid process. That's that little bony part of your skull, kind of right behind the ear. And I'll put my second finger on the, uh, the side of the C2 vertebrae. I'm gonna have her bend forward, rotate her all the way, and let your head relax all the way. It's tough for people to relax in this position, so you'll have to work with them. Get them to end range again in that rotation, and then joint play a little bit. It moves well on that side. Am I messing up your hair? <laughs> No, it's it's all part like of it. Reflex. <laughs> it's all part of it. So we're gonna do the same deal. Let your head fall forward. I'm gonna turn her away. And a little bit stiffer going that way, right? Would you agree? Yeah. Very good. So <laughs> we have done our assessment. So now we can adjust what needs it, right? Because again, like I said the last time, if we're not assessing before we're adjusting, then we're just cracking joints for nothing. And I don't think that's very efficient healthcare. Anyway. Let's get to business. So, go ahead and lay face down. Personally, when I adjust, out of pure habit, not really out of anything else, I like to start with the mid back, then go to the low back, then take care of the neck. Why I do that, I don't have a good answer. It's just how I roll. Maddie, <laughs> let your hands relax right on those hand pieces right there. I can further support my findings by continuing to palpate. We're always palpating as chiropractors. If, you know, Getting information from our hands is, one of the best things that we can do for our patients and for ourselves so we know we're, we're providing efficient care. So again, pressing, challenging the joints. Again, I feel that restriction right there. She just said it right there. So we're gonna take care of it. Easy breath in, Maddie. Good, relax, shoulders drop. <laughs> Doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> Turn and face me. So we took care of the restriction in the mid T-spine. Now, we're gonna take care of the TL junction for this. Classic side posture, Maddie again is very good at getting into this position. I like to take the shoulder, bring it out from under so she's a little bit more relaxed. Cross her arms like Dracula. Continue my palpation. Again, I wanna be sure. So as I described in the last video where I was adjusting Dr. Nick, I'm feeling how her vertebrae open and close as I flex and extend her spine. And again, right at the T12 L1 junction, it's a little restricted. So, Manny, take an easy breath in. Good, relax. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you hear that? <sighs> All right, turn this way. We're going to even you out. <laughs> so, again, straight leg. Take the out. Look, she's, she's a pro. She's getting into the <laughs> position already. Good. Easy breath. Let it out. Oh, you okay? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maddie, go ahead on your back. Oh. On your back. I'm not done palpating yet, guys. Like I said, the, the more palpating, the better. So again, a little bit of, the, of a restriction on the left side of the CT junction. You know what, Maddie? I want to adjust you in the chair. Coming up off the table. Again, this is straight out of the MPI playbook, the seated CT adjustment. It's really patient dependent as far as which adjustment you want to use. Um, depending on what the patient prefers, that's kind of number one, but also what you're best at with your hands. So if you're confident with your hands, you have a lot of options, but ultimately, I know that this is a comfortable adjustment for Maddie, so we're gonna take care of business. Maddie, retract your chin just a little bit for me. Very good. <laughs> right there, moving at the CT junction. So, once we're done adjusting, we go through that entire little palpation flow again to reassess to make sure that we achieved the changes that we want. But that's all for today. Thank you for watching.